it has just unveiled the upcoming Q6 e Tron Quattro. And yes, you have guessed it right today. I'll be telling you more about the upcoming Audi Q6 e Quattro. I'm Junior, and you're watching Junior on Cars. You have read the title right, you have guessed it right, Audi has updated and given us an electric version of the Q6. Well, the Q6 e-tron Quattro will be having around 517 brake horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of 4.3 seconds. Well, Audi has also stepped up with their battery range and giving us more of a fasting charging for people who love electric cars and people who can't wait any longer because Audi has started to make their batteries much more faster actually and much more capable of going a little bit much more of performance well their performance comes with fast charging as well so audi has stepped up with their charging unit because in 21 minutes you get 80 percent in the upcoming q6 e-tron quattro well which is around roughly 385 miles of range so that is quite of a step up literally a big big step up and just to clarify out for people who think this video always oh, late and everything is the uploading is going to be late but trust me i did this video when the the car came out so i didn't do it a day or week later so if the stats is basic for you there's no problem go and visit the audi website to know more about the upcoming q6 e-tron quattro so let's stick to what i know well besides that let's jump into the exterior of the upcoming q6 e-tron quattro or well, the up some the upcoming q6 e-tron quattro is different it looks very very big as well that's what i was thinking when i saw the car it is bigger and wider as well in fact in realistic it's going to look much more wider than you think on the tv I mean on the picture because or also on the TV as well because I can tell from the picture that the grill is going to be horrendously big and why did Audi make a little bit of a venting on it as well so honestly I didn't get that point but it's electric all I can tell you is going to be full electric because as we all know the e-tron range in Audi is full electric cars from Audi itself so the e-tron quattro q6 is whatever it is going to be a fully electric suv with four seats at the back on five doors as well so it's quite practical to just say it as well and also there is rumored a sq6 version coming which is going to be fully electric as well not internal combustion as well so we're not sure if the sq6 version is going to be confirmed but we all know that the q6 e-tron quattro version is confirmed well we're not sure when people are going to put their orders in but i think it's towards the end of 20. 24 because these cars are 2025 cars that are upcoming so it is going to be pre-order cars coming at the end of the year obviously well the exterior is quite different to what you get in most audis including the previous audis as well as the now e-trons that we have but what i do realize is that the e-tron well the sedan version is taking a little bit of examples because the q6 e-tron quattro at the back back lights does look i'm not saying totally looks similar little bit similar to the e-tron sedan so i'm not sure if audi is taking inspiration from it or whatever but the back does look a little bit more like the sedan e-tron but tell me in the comments below if you do disagree or agree with me but the front it looks totally different to the e-tron sedan so i'm not really sure if audi is taking some inspiration from it but trust me in front it looks way different to the sedan version and also at the rear like i said it is i don't understand as well why audi is doing the same thing that vw is doing why do they put fake exhaust tips at the bag and it's electric it makes it worse so i don't really get that so that is a bit of a design flaw but honestly i'm not gonna lie it does make the bag look much more nicer but i also do love that it doesn't have a sloping roof line so the passengers at the back can fit perfectly well leaving the front or the bag and also the side let's leave the exterior and let's jump into the interior and there's no other way to say it audi finally has upgraded their infotainment system because you do get three screens yes three screens you get the digital cluster you get the infotainment system and you get a infotainment system for the passenger as well and also i do love that the gear selector is very minimalistic it's simple and easy to use as well and also there's luggage space for where you can put your phone and also a wireless charging point obviously as well and also you do get a phone compartment where you can put your phone which is very confinement as well well let's jump into like i said the infotainment system part and yes audi has also went for a digital cluster and also an infotainment system that is digital and also a passenger digital cluster and also yes they've went for a climate control which is digital my god i don't know what is with this infotainment cluster i mean the climate control that is 
Digital, why don't they just use old fashioned knobs? Because it's quite of a fav to use when you're driving, so it's a bit of a problem as well. But I do love that Audi gave a new feeling in the upcoming Q6 e-tron. Got you, they haven't you know replicated the rsq8 infotainment system and also the q8 infotainment system they've simply redesigned it and make it much more modern as well and also you will be getting some new features and also you do get android auto and also apple carplay and many more features as well and also upcoming many more new techs in the car but also we're also expecting cruise control and also lane assist and reverse camera and also self-reversing and many more features as well but i do love also that Audi has really stepped up with the infotainment system. I was really getting bored of the old infotainment system, honestly speaking. It was looking, it was like VW, literally just sticking with the same infotainment system for a very long time. So I love that Audi has actually stepped up with this infotainment system. And yes, as Audi is just like VW, they're gonna keep this infotainment system in the upcoming models as well. So don't be surprised when this same infotainment system is in the upcoming models as well. But I'm glad that Audi has actually stepped up. And yes, you do get the same leather that you get in the old Audis as well and let me just say the previous Audis but also you do get a different seat layout as well as also different seat upholstery as well but design wise I think it's also going to be a little bit similar and also you do get leather on the docket on the pocket panel pocket side of the doors as well and also e everything is going to be easy to maneuver it. and also I think it's touch sensitive controls on the steering wheel but I'm not sure yet because I can't see really properly from the pictures but honestly I can see that the infotainment system has been upgraded I hope it's not lousy Audi I hope it's not lousy hope it's up to date and also very good to use and very easy to use as well not a fav just like the old audis and also very slow like the old audis and very outdated like the old audis so hope audi has actually really updated it as well and also let's jump into the rear seats well the rear seats is going to be quite practical as well like i said i love that audi didn't go for the rough slope line so it's quite easy to also you know i have passengers at the back and also i think the boot is going to be big enough to fit groceries because obviously q6 e-trons is going to be for soccer moms and soccer dads as well so let's rate the upcoming q6 e-tron quattro well i rated a 5.6 out of 10 because literally i'm not really a big electric fan or a big e-tron fan but i do love the infotainment system and also do love the seat layout as well as also practicality and also i do love the rear lights as well don't like the rear diffuser as well so it's quite nice i love that audi actually updated didn't replicate or take any photocopies of the up of the previous model so it's quite good that audi has actually taken stuff serious just like vw did with the new tiguan so it's quite nice and also very good refreshing to also see audi has taken their customers and the cars serious so yeah if you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to watch more videos on mine, click onto the main channel to go and watch more videos on mine. And if you want to learn more, keep up with my channel. I suggest that you go and follow the channel's Instagram page, which is at Juno On Cars, and also go and follow the channel's TikTok page at Juno On Cars. And more car content coming soon, as well as reviews. So bye.